Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can customize your bash prompt or your default shell prompt to look more minimalist than this. So right now I have loaded up default bash as you can see here and it looks pretty plain and boring. It could definitely look much better. Now to fix this, we have two options. We can either use ZSH as a shell or we can install the fish shell. Depending on the amount of customization you want to do, you can install ZSH if you want more control over your uh, prompt customization, or you can install Fish to get something that works right out of the box. Fish also offers syntax highlighting and auto completion right out of the box, whereas you will have to set that up manually if you're using ZSH. Now, in the thumbnail, I mentioned that I would be doing ZSH, so I will cover that in this video. Right, so to install ZSH, you would just pacman sudo pacman dash s ZSH, add the dash dash needed flag to only install it if it's not installed. As you can see, it's up to date, so it's going to skip that. And to change your shell to ZSH, you're going to do chsh dash s dollar sign which ZSH. Once you do that, you'll have to enter your password and your shell will be changed. Now, uh, in other distributions, this step is pretty much the same. You're just going to have to install ZSH using your package manager and change the shell, except here in some distros, which ZSH is not going to work. So you'll have to do chsh-s bin bash. I mean, bin ZSH. Do that to change your shell, log out, log back in, and you should see a prompt that looks... Again, less customized than that. This is from the thumbnail. I have not gotten rid of any configuration just yet. I will show you guys how to get this. But your prompt should look very similar to what you had over here. Very plain, you had nothing. To get started, we should install omyzsh. Oh so just go to omyz.sh. Oh okay, click on install omyzsh. Oh should give you a command. I will leave this command in the description. Here we go. The dollar sign zsh folder already exists. So I already have omyzsh oh installed. It's going to install it for you if you don't have it installed. And remember, you have to run this command in ZSH. You don't want to be running bash. Okay, we are back. And right now, as you can see, I've made it a bit easier to like just understand how the prompt is going to look by reverting it to the default. So here, this is the default Robbie Russell theme that ZSH, oh my ZSH offers you. To change that, we are going to use something called Power Level 10K. This link I will leave in the description. You can just go click on that. Should bring you to this GitHub site. Scroll down and you can see these are the different styles that you can apply to ZSH to make it look however you want. Now, note I am using PyWall here. Running NeoFetch shows you these colors. These colors you can get if you have installed PyWall. Check out my other video to see on how to do that. Basically, if you use PyWall, then the colors of your terminal and everything else that you've themed with PyWall will change according to your wallpaper. So let's say I had another wallpaper which was entirely red in color. Everything is going to be red. The terminal to the bar to everything else, even the application launcher. Now, let's see here. For installation, we are going to have to manually install this using this command. So just copy this, paste it, paste, whoops. Paste it here, it should do that. And there you go, done. What you now need to do is, yes, ordinarily you would have to edit the power level 10K, sort of like add that in, in your ZSHRC, but now it's completely fine. It does it automatically for you. But just in case you did not get this result, you have to go into your ZSHRC. And this is the Everblush theme I'm using with NVChat, by the way. Scroll down here and change Robbie Russell to power level 10k forward slash power level 10k. Save quit and you should get prompt configuration settings. This is not the first time I've run power level 10k so it doesn't show me any of that but I can bring that menu up as soon as I want by typing p10k configure. Configure. Come on. There we go. It'll ask you a bunch of questions related to uh, adjusting to your font so let's say you have a font that's not that doesn't have any of these icons like liberation mono liberation mono or something like that the font that doesn't have any of these icons 
In that case, it will suggest you to use a different font, which does have most of these icons, to ensure that you get a proper looking prompt. So here, yes, this does look like a diamond and a lock. No, I've already answered these before, so I can just spam. Okay. Now, here we have the prompt style. You can select whichever one you want. To achieve the one that I showed in the thumbnail, I will be going with lean. Lean, Unicode, eight colors. No, do not show the current time. Two lines. This, you can set it to be anything. Let's go with disconnected because that looks more minimalist, in my opinion. Left. This is a frame color. You can just choose green. And prompt spacing, sparse, few icons, makes it look better. Concise, enable transient prompt. Okay, so this is basically a setting where, let's say that you type the command git pull, and then you type another command git branch x, and then another one git checkout x. What transient prompt does is, it removes this sort of heading and the carrot, the forward arrow over here, for all the previous commands, because that's technically not required. So it just executes the command and pushes it to the top, as you can see over here. I'll show that in action. We'll enable that. For instant prompt mode, you can just select one and Y. So this is the prompt that you should get. For transient mode, let's run those commands. Let's create a new directory, uh, lol, cd lol. Let's make a new git repository here. So git init. Yeah, as you can see here, we, the commands that have already been executed have been pushed up to the top. These three commands over here. If you did not have transient prompt, you would have this heading and all the other stuff attached to it for every single one of these commands. And that's pretty much it. I also had one more thing, which was syntax highlighting. Let me just show you guys real quick. ZSH syntax highlighting. This is a plugin that you will have to add in ZSHRC. Okay, scroll down. Let's see here. See install.md. You have to clone this repository in the plugins directory using this command. So paste that in. Execute that. And one more over here. So the plugins. Plugins, I will show you guys how to do. So you have to open ZSHRC, search for plugins. And here I have three. One is git by default. Second one I've added is ZSH syntax highlighting. And third one is fast syntax highlighting. This basically speeds up the process of syntax highlighting and makes it much faster than it usually is. That can also be installed by just looking it up really quick. Fast syntax highlighting ZSH. I leave a link for that repo down in the description, but should be pretty simple to install it. And that should be it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description. I will try my best to answer them. And that's it. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video if you found it useful. And see ya. Peace.